Okay, let's start with a question covered in the film then. Mandy Basra One on Instagram contacted us and she said, how do you actually define sustainable fishing? Oh, that's a great question. There's lots of ways you can define that. But essentially, sustainable fishing is a situation where you have the fish and the marine environment grow and thrive together. Still a work in progress and we're definitely not there yet. The closest measure from fishing being sustainable is what's called maximum sustainable yield, so MSY. And basically what it means is the level of fishing pressure, how many fish we take from the seas, doesn't stop that species being able to recover. If that level of fishing is too high, you see a decline in the species. And we do know, don't we, that um, only 67% of the stocks fished in UK waters are actually being fished at those levels or better. So for declining stocks, there really has to be a focus on, on recovery. Otherwise, things are going to go definitely the wrong way. Absolutely. And recovery can only really happen if there's some pressure on the government and the fishing industry to fish in a more sustainable way. And that's exactly what we are set up to do. That's where the Marine Conservation Society comes in. Now, work on fisheries policy and advocacy working with politicians and the industry and through our Good Fish Guide, which rates the stocks not only in terms of fishing level, but a lot of other factors, including the methods and the impact on the marine environment. But it's all about more sustainable fishing, with the goal of long-term sustainability to give fish, people, and crucially, marine wildlife a chance. And the majority of UK households eating fish and seafood, 97%, in fact. Um, I mean, that's a huge, that's a huge number, isn't it, of, of people that, that eat seafood. Um, we encourage people, if they do want to eat seafood, to make the informed decisions about what they can buy. And, and that can be done fairly simply, can't it? Yeah. I mean, just to come back to that key question, do we think that vegetarianism or veganism is the only option to promote sustainable seas? No. Um, Really, we think sustainability is looking at the natural resources and our social and economic resources. If we stop fishing overnight or very rapidly, we're wiping out millions of people's livelihoods around the globe. So we really need to think about that as well. But with good fishing practices, we think there's room for people to choose to be vegan if they want. That's fine. But also for people who want to choose and eat fish, make sure that they're buying from sustainable sources. What does that mean? Well, it means encouraging supermarkets and restaurants to demand sustainable seafood from their suppliers. This means fishers and fish farmers who adopt good practices actually are encouraged to do so. And of course, it encourages governments to improve the management of our seas. And over time, through our work, we've seen the demand for that market, the demand for sustainable seafood to actually grow, which is really encouraging. And we want to see more of that direction of travel. And one of the questions was, do we believe in sustainable fishing, which, you know, we absolutely do. We believe that there really is a place for responsible, well-managed fishing and aquaculture. And, and that's our vision for, for a healthy seas, isn't it? Absolutely. Wild caught and farm seafood is a really important source of protein for billions of people around the world. And it not only supports social and economic prosperity, of course, communities across the globe, but also here in the UK. And moreover, thinking about the climate change challenge, we've heard a lot about that. It's really important. In terms of carbon footprint, fish has a much lower carbon footprint than its comparable alternatives, such as beef. So if people, you know, do want to eat seafood, they do want to consume seafood, then um, and, and they're now worried because it seems like a minefield. Our Good Fish Guide really does bring together the best scientific advice available on how sustainable a variety of, of seafood is. Um, if you have a look on the website or you download the app, we look at a complex issue surrounding seafood sources in the UK, including fish population sizes, the use of fish feed, effectiveness of management and the impact of fishing and farming practices on the environment which I know is really, really important. And the good thing about the Good Fish Guide is that the information is, is broken down into a traffic light rating. So red rating is quite simply fish to avoid. Amber is have a think, maybe, you know, have it, I don't know, once, a month, once every two months or something and buy with caution. And then green rated is the best choice. So it is really straightforward, isn't it? It is. And that amber think, buy with caution, doesn't just mean once a month. It also means other alternatives that you could have on your plate that come from the green ring. And, you know, this is really there to help shoppers and businesses play a role in looking after our seas and marine wildlife. And if you look for responsible, environmentally responsible sources of your seafood, you're helping with that. And talking about businesses, you know, we've got around 20% of the seafood consumed in the UK each year comes from businesses that use the Good Fish Guide. That's one in five meals. 
actually come from a business that's trying to make sure that it provides food that is rated green or amber, which is great. 